Scientists around the world made history today, releasing the first ever photograph of a black hole. Located 55 million light years from Earth. Breaking image, captured by the Event Horizon Telescope, shows the supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy M87. In 2019, humanity captured the first image of a black hole. But what if this celebrated achievement photographs something entirely different than we assumed? For over 20 years, Dr. Abbas Mitra has pursued a radical proposition that the universe's most extreme objects aren't actually black holes at all, but what he calls magnetospheric eternally collapsing objects, or MECO. In a black hole, matter crosses the point of no return and vanishes. But in a MECO, matter approaches that same critical boundary, getting closer and closer, but never quite arrives. MECO suggests that matter experiences eternal approach toward the critical point, but remains forever suspended in this descent. These objects challenge our deepest assumptions about finality itself. Could the cosmos operate on principles that ancient wisdom traditions have described for millennia? The answers may be older than telescopes. Ancient Indian cosmology rests on a revolutionary premise. The universe operates in endless cycles where nothing truly ends, only transforms. The Puranas speak of cosmic breathing, expansion and contraction in eternal rhythm, where even apparent destruction becomes the seed of new creation. Standard physics tells us black holes are cosmic graveyards. Matter crosses the event horizon and vanishes forever, creating an information paradox that violates quantum mechanics. But Mikos offer a different story. Here, gravitational collapse becomes eternal, approaching but never reaching the critical threshold. This isn't merely theoretical elegance. It resolves fundamental contradictions that have puzzled physicists for decades. Think of a library where books can never be burned or lost. Even if the building collapses, every page remains perfectly preserved in the rubble. Mechos might function as cosmic libraries, maintaining complete records of everything that approaches them. But if every quantum of information is preserved forever, what happens when the universe itself refuses to forget?
Ancient Indian texts describe Akasha, a cosmic memory where every event, every thought, every moment is recorded forever. Stephen Hawking spent decades wrestling with a cosmic puzzle. He discovered that black holes should destroy information permanently, but the laws of physics say that's impossible. In 2014, Hawking shocked the scientific world by declaring, there are no black holes in the sense of regimes from which light can't escape to infinity. There are, however, apparent horizons which persist for a period of time. But he couldn't solve the deeper mystery. Imagine tearing up a photograph. In our everyday world, the image is gone forever, but quantum physics insists that information cannot be destroyed ever. This creates a paradox. Black holes seem to violate the most fundamental rule of reality. But what if we've been wrong about black holes? Mechos offer a solution. They preserve everything that approaches them, like cosmic hard drives that never run out of space. In 2015, scientists detected space-time ripple gravitational waves from colliding black holes. But Dr. Abbas Mitra believes they came from something else, mechos, not black holes. If mechos are real, the universe isn't a place where things disappear. It's a place where everything is remembered. And if nothing is ever truly lost, what does that mean for existence itself? Mechos don't just change astrophysics, they transform our understanding of existence itself. Think of the difference between a drain and a fountain. Black holes act like cosmic drains where everything goes in, nothing comes out. Mechos may be fountains in reverse, matter approaches, but never vanishes. They create dynamic, living systems, not dead end points. This cosmic breathing mirrors the rhythm ancient traditions recognized in consciousness itself, the eternal pulse between manifest and unmanifest reality. Cosmology, the universe becomes generative rather than degenerative. Each eternal object serves as a node of creative potential, not a point of destruction. We may inhabit a cosmos where the most extreme gravitational fields don't crush reality, but cradle it a universe of eternal transformation as ancient wisdom always intuited. If consciousness and cosmos follow the same principles, both avoiding true destruction, both cycling eternally, then perhaps the boundary between observer and observed is far thinner than we imagined. The next generation of telescopes will test these ancient insights. And what we find may determine whether we are temporary accidents or eternal participants in cosmic consciousness.